Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I am making probably my new summer obsession. This is just my favorite thing, and I am so excited to share it with you. I'm sure you guys remember if you got to go to like Six Flags or like a carnival, the like slurpy um, like lemon drink, but also like you had a the red, it was like the red straw that has like a spoon attached to the bottom. So if you drank it, then you had the ice. I don't think I'm articulating this well, but I feel like you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it is delicious. And I'm making a fancy lady version of that today, kind of inspired by Sicilian granita. And it's really simple to make. You basically make very fancy ice cubes, and then I basically puree them in my food processor to get it really fine. It actually kind of has a sorbet texture. And you can have it just like that as a beautiful dessert, or if you're like me, you put a little bit of gin on top and enjoy it as a sexy cocktail. So that is what we are doing today. So it's perfect for kids and for adults, both poolside. And this is what we have, it's super simple, and this is enough for basically one ice cube tray. So I have about two to three lemons and I've peeled them. I have one tablespoon of lavender. This is also really delicious with rosemary if you can't find lavender. But you could replace it with basically any herb you like. I have a half cup of sugar. I have about two thirds a cup of lemon juice. This is just from the two to three lemons that I peeled. So it's, you know, it can be like two, two thirds, a little more, a little less, not a big deal. And then I have one cup of water. So the way I'm gonna do this is first I'm gonna make a syrup with the lemon peel and with the lavender, and then I'm gonna combine everything together to pour into my ice cube tray. So first goes in the lemon peels my tablespoon of lavender, and you wanna use culinary lavender, which means it's lavender that you can use in making food versus lavender you would use in potpourri. So there is a difference. It's mostly just how it's sort of, uh, not manufactured, but how it's processed. And then I have a half cup of sugar going in, and then one cup of water, and this is exactly like making a simple syrup. So I'm just gonna turn this on to like, I mean, honestly, as high as you want, but usually, you know, medium. Let's call it medium. So turn this on to medium, and I'm going to wait until this bubbles enough that the sugar has fully dissolved, and then I'm gonna turn off the heat, and I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes so it's really nice and infused. So I'm just gonna pour it through a strainer into the measuring cup, and then I'm gonna add the lemon juice. Then I'm gonna pour it into my little ice cube tray. I love using silicone for this, by the way, because it just means the ice cubes pop out so much easier. So now I'm gonna pop this in the freezer and let it freeze completely, and then I'm gonna get going on making the granita. So the ice cubes are out of the freezer, so I'm gonna now just pop these out and put them into my food processor. You probably also notice the ice cubes are kind of pink. That actually happens when the lavender and the lemon interact with each other. You sometimes can get a little bit of a pinky hue. I like doing it in a food processor because it just gives me the texture I'm looking for because the ice cubes actually are kind of on the soft side. They're not like really hard, typical like water ice cubes. But you can use a blender as well. You just might get more like of a crushed ice kind of vibe with that. There we go, that fast. So now I'm just gonna scoop out a little bit. And you can see this makes probably enough for I'd say two, because this is good for one portion, especially if you're doing it as a cocktail. But if you wanna do more of these, you can always make multiple batches and just hold the ice cubes in your freezer. Okay, that's pretty. So next I'm going to add just a little bit of gin on top because you know, just makes everything taste a little bit better. Time to give it a taste. So refreshing. This is the dream poolside cocktail for me. It is cold, it is refreshing, it involves a spoon. There is no one who does not win with this combination. Once again, you don't have to add the gin if you just wanna serve it as a really delicious dessert or kind of as a Slurpee by itself. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this super easy granita slash cocktail. And have a great summer. I hope you guys enjoy staying poolside and trying to stay cool in the heat. Bye.